What's up? My name's Lux, and today I'll guide you through the map Bright Marsh and Paladins. To start off with, Bright Marsh has the point, the dock side, and the village side. Now, apart from that, I'm not gonna get into any core labs since every team has their own. So yeah, teams have their own callouts and with the upcoming addition of 2.01, a high res made callout will be located above your health bar which will assess the casual players. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, everyone loves Bright Marsh, unless you're facing Muto and Andro. Bright Marsh is a well-rounded map. It's got high ground, flank routes, and nice angles for the damage champions. So, you may be asking, Well, Lux, who the hell is that then? Snipers. Number one, Bright Marsh is such a tight map, it's very easy to block a sniper's line of sight with a wall, shield, or narrow thick booty. This forces them to reposition, which puts them in a vulnerable spot. The reason why Frozen Guard and Timber Mill are good sniper maps is because it's almost impossible to block off a sniper's line of sight without blocking your own, meaning they almost always have a target in their sight. The second reason why snipers are bad on Bright Marsh is because they're easy to flank. One minute you're shooting at the enemy tank, and before you know it, Andrew flies over the top and punches you in the dick. This is why no one plays snipers on Bright Marsh. So stop picking strikes here. So who do I play on Bright Marsh? Literally any type of AOE damage or heals, or a champion that can block a line of sight. It's gonna be good here, and it's almost necessary, as we'll talk about later. So let me show you why AOE is so good on Bright Marsh. Take your pick: Willow, BK, Dragos, EV, Dredge, or even Victor. In this clip as BK, you can see that my Grumpy is literally zoning out the entire village side and my AoE bombs can reach the enemy even without them being in my line of sight. With Drogos, because he can fly, he can hit some insane fire spits and if the enemy stacks up, that's a lot of damage. Lastly, Willow. Dead zone is already fucking overpowered. Now look at how it literally takes up all of the village side. No one can stand there while that dead zone is active unless they want to die. Now, if you're not really an AoE player, let me list some champions that are good on Bright Marsh, no matter what. Androx is Fernando and now I'm going to go go up, tip, go over Khan, Sarah's dump. I'm not going to tell you how to play these champions on Bright Marsh. You can figure that out for yourself. If you really want to, I could make a guide for it later down the road. The last thing I want to tell you is that how your team plays on Bright Marsh is heavily dependent on the enemy's lineup and your own. Bright Marsh is a tight and narrow map. So don't fucking stack up. If the enemy has a Willow, Drogas, or Bomb King, or just any type of blaster. Also, Bright Marsh is quite snowballing. Snowballing is a metaphor. That means. Just look at the picture. In Paladins, you get credits for pushing and capping, so if you manage to push and cap at the start, there's a high chance you will 4 0. Anyways, that's Bright Marsh. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and let me know what map you want to see next. If you enjoyed, hit that spicy like button, share this video with your sister, and maybe subscribe. Ladies. Also, this is a secret flank route. Use it, but don't do what I did here. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.